Is the coat tabby backpack worth it? Let's have a look. Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I am checking out the Coach Tabby backpack and seeing is it worth it? Now before I get started, if you like the content on this channel, I appreciate it very much if you would consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for considering and on with the video. So if you've been a Coach handbag lover for the last few years, you know that Coach has been coming out with all these different tabby handbags and the tabby collection has been like a really strong staple that has been helping Coach with its comeback in the last few years. So it's just a matter of time that they come out with a backpack version of the fan favorite Coach tabby. So today I am going to do a full review of the Coach tabby backpack. However, if you are interested in some of the other tabby handbags in the collection, be sure to check out my YouTube channel and check out some of my shopping videos and review on other Coach handbags. Well, here is the Coach tabby backpack. I like to do research on my handbags before making my purchases, so I'm sharing with you my pros and cons for this bag as I'm doing my research as I know many of you are before making a handbag purchase. So starting off, this is a super cute backpack. It's not super big, not super small. I think it's really perfect for like work or travel if you're not carrying all that much. So are backpack purses coming back into trend? I'm not sure, but this handbag definitely caught my attention. So let's start off with the pros. Starting off, I do like the design. I think it's really stylish, but I don't know if it's too trendy. I think it can be worn casually and it's a very functional bag that allows it to be worn in multiple occasions, like a music festival or an amusement park. It just gives me a really nice chill vibe, very sophisticated, and so far I'm totally digging the hands-free option. So there's actually three color options available, the black here, there's also the chalk as well as the dragon fruit. But for this video, I was only able to see the black and white in store. So hopefully this video, it's helpful for you to see how it looks like in person versus online. So here's the chalk and the black. I do like the security of the flap that's available for this bag. And I feel like the snap closure is pretty secure for crowded places. So I want to show you how the dragon fruit color looks like. They don't have it here, but this is how the color looks like in person in case you're curious. So going back to security, they do have like two small turn lock pockets in the front. But I'll talk a little bit more about why I love this handbag for like security reasons later on in the video. Next, I want to talk about versatility. I love the adjustable strap. It can be worn as a backpack or as a crossbody, which I'll show you later on how it looks like on the model itself. So it is a feature that I am very drawn to because I love how you can go hands-free, you can have it in your back for a music festival, and it doesn't take too much effort to change it from a backpack to a crossbody which is like a really fantastic feature. It's easy to pair this handbag with different wardrobe when you have the option to go from day to night with options for a backpack or as a crossbody. Overall, love a good hands-free backpack and also at the same time, just like love the concept. Next, I wanna show you the hardware that's in the front as well as like the snap closure. Just want to give you a better look at how it looks like in person, but it is not like a mini bag. It is a good like small size bag. I also love the soft leather for this bag. It feels very luxurious, like a beautiful, very plushy shine. So if you like the perfect like pillow tabby or quilted tabby, this is probably down your alley. I hope I do the handbag justice in showing you the ultra soft Napa leather. As for my favorite feature of the handbag, well, I mentioned earlier, there's three ways for you to wear it. You can wear it as like a backpack, a crossbody, or a shoulder bag. And what I love about that is if you're in a crowded area and you're worried about theft, you can easily change it from a backpack to a crossbody and just like hold it in front of you. I think this is a great travel option if you're not looking to carry too much. And I think this is a feature is like not really focused on a lot, so, want to bring that to your attention. Okay, so it's not all bells and whistles. There are cons related to this handbag. Number one is capacity. I find that 
there's like these small cargo pockets in the front and like what do you put in it maybe like ear pods but like it's not that big i think it's more for aesthetic than function it is a smaller backpack so it's really meant to carry just your bare essentials so capacity is a little bit limited you will also notice that it has a drawstring opening so on baseline i do find that the opening is a little bit small so it's hard to kind of find and search for your belongings inside the next con is i'm a little bit worried about its wear over time it is like the super soft napa leather which is a total pro but also find soft leather will wear a little bit easier over time so i'm worried a little bit about scratches and damages that potentially be a little bit easier with softer leather color transfer especially if you're looking at the chalk color one i am a little bit worried about it but i do love like the brass hardware with the chalk it just looks so luxe the next con is something that maybe not everybody talked about but this does not have a handle for you to pick up the bag on the go which i think is just too bad because I feel like a lot of times I throw it on the car seat next to me for a handbag I like to grab it and go so it's too bad that it doesn't have a handle on top next con is related to the strap now the strap I did say it's a pro because you can convert it from like a backpack a shoulder or crossbody but it is not the most comfortable thing to wear despite it looking very stylish the strap is a little bit thinner and with the metal bit in it it's not as comfortable if you're planning on wearing it for a long period of time as well i also find that the chain strap doesn't really stay in place it's like a love hate relationship in that it's very flexible that you can go back and forth between different ways to wear it but i find that the strap when you pull on one side hangs more on the other and you're constantly like adjusting it it's just not very easy to wear when i pull it to use it for a shoulder i also find that it doesn't always stay on my shoulder and kind of slides off when you pull the straps on one side sometimes i also find that it doesn't stay in place so those are my major pros and cons for this backpack but i also want to show you how it looks like on the website so you can compare how it looks like on the website versus in person so the tabby backpack is currently priced at 610 dollars its dimensions and measurements are 8.75 inches by 8.25 inches by a width of 5.25 inches so it's made out of napa leather and has like a fabric lining inside there are currently three options, as I mentioned, available, the chalk and the black that I show you, as well as like a dragon fruit that is probably a more seasonal color. If you're into kind of purse backpack, I do want to bring up that Coach has another backpack available called the Rhea backpack that comes in like the 21 size that is a little bit more affordable. It's priced at $480 and it's not made out of the Napa soft like leather so i think it's a little bit more scratch resistant and does have a handle that reminds me of the coach rogue if you're interested in that backpack be sure to check out my youtube channel for a full review of the ria backpack so after looking at these backpacks from coach what is my final conclusion about the coach tabby backpack is it worth it Honestly, I am so torn about this backpack because I love the tabby line from Coach. It looks so cute online and in person, but unfortunately, it just doesn't fit my lifestyle at this time. I don't think it's like the ideal option if you have younger kids because one it has limited capacity, like the narrow opening with the drawstring. It's just not very easy for you to go in and out of. It's not really meant for anyone who needs a little bit of extra capacity if you need it. I mean this bag is stunning it's a really cute backpack and it gives a really good edge in competing for the classic Rhea from coach that came out earlier last year i mean is this handbag too trendy or do you think it will go out of style that's another thing i'm concerned about and then lastly the strap being a little bit too finicky and not super comfortable for wear for a long period of time was also one of the deal breakers for me because i feel like if you're gonna wear a handbag it should be comfortable so that is it for the coach 
tabby backpack with quilting. What do you think of this handbag? Do you think maybe I'm a little bit overcritical about it? Would you consider adding this to your collection? Or perhaps you already have this handbag in your collection? I would love to hear your experience on it. And if you have a choice between all the backpack color combinations at the store, let's say the chalk, the black, as well as the dragon fruit, which one would you choose? Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on another mommy review and I will see you next time. Take care and stay safe everyone. Bye for now.